Well, following the death of Williams, people touched by both depression and suicide certainly hope his death brings those topics out of the shadows. WPTZ's Jack Thurston has continuing coverage in this Health Beat report. He was definitely uh, an amazing boy. Kathy Lamberton thinks of her son Logan every day and always will. My son was the most vibrant person on the outside. She lost him to suicide four and a half years ago. It can touch anybody. You're perfect right now. With the news this week that beloved performer Robin Williams took his own life too, Lamberton hopes more communities start talking openly about suicide, a topic she says has long only been whispered about, misunderstood, even stigmatized. And I hope that this nation starts focusing a little more on depression and mental health illnesses and understanding that more. 108 Vermonters died by suicide last year, folks of all ages, but mostly men. That number, per capita, puts this state's suicide rate at higher than the national average. Suicide is a huge public health problem. Charlie Biss with Vermont's Department of Mental Health believes the state can bring down those numbers, starting with more public awareness. He says some people who choose to end their lives are actually sort of on the fence about it. We can um, dissuade their, their actions. He suggests we all pay close attention to behavior changes in our closest friends and relatives and not be shy about reaching out and connecting with them. Explaining folks considering suicide may benefit from that contact, that caring, that sense that not all is hopeless. Suicide is preventable. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 1 800 273 TALK. Kathy Lamberton will certainly keep talking about suicide and hopes health policymakers will too. My wish is that people understand it better so maybe you can prevent it in the future. In Colchester, Jack Thurston, WPTZ News Channel 5.